stolen in a wrong way crash. An innocent boy that was going places. It's not right. It's not right. His bags were packed, plans had been made, but a 27-year-old Wayne County man ready to start a new job in a new state never made it home. Good evening, I'm Courtney Guzman. Rob has a night off. Those who knew Clinton Cherby in shock after learning he was killed by a wrong way driver last night in Akron. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg has reaction from Clinton's mother. He lived to fish, but he loved to work. Effervescent and a strong work ethic. To hear Sandy Cherby describe her son Clinton, you'll know he had a sense of purpose. Clinton made everybody smile. Rarely found. He was a happy boy. In a 27-year-old. And he was going places, literally. Cherby was driving home from his job at Summit Racing, a job he loved. He had just worked a half day instead of a full one. The company had recently promoted him and planned to send him to Texas. Wednesday was his last day before the big move. We were supposed to cry all night because he moved to Texas. Um... And Sandy was preparing to send him off. Now we're going to cry forever. As Cherby neared the top of the central interchange on I-76 shortly after 8 o'clock Wednesday night, a 63-year-old man apparently driving the wrong direction plowed into him, police say. Cherby was killed instantly. I went to go on ogo.com to see if there was an accident holding him up. I didn't get that far, and the policeman was at the door. We all have a good support system, but it don't matter. The grief is simply indescribable for his family and friends. His circle had just come together weeks prior for a goodbye party. They have no words. Now they're planning his services. Nothing. Just lots of tears. We had a place to visit. That was everybody's condolences for that. Oh, now you have a place to visit. Well, no. That man took my place to visit away. It's going to take me a long time to visit. Not much about the other driver is known, but police say it appears alcohol may have been a factor. But even Sandy knows that clarity won't soften the jagged holes he left behind. Almost wish he was younger so he could suffer longer in jail. He's not going to be there long enough. Jordan Vandenberg, News 5. Just heartbreaking. And Akron police say the investigation into that deadly wrong way crash continues and no charges have been filed. A GoFundMe page has been set up to cover Clinton's funeral expenses. There's a link on our News 5 app.